Hey guys, welcome to the Todd Durkin Impact Q&A. Loving the feedback I'm getting. Thank you so much. Today's question comes from Laura Sharp. So thank you, Laura, so much for your question. Uh, she asked, how do I get my mojo back? I'm struggling with injuries and putting on weight and training like I used to. I am so frustrated with myself. Laura, first off, thank you for sharing that. I totally understand and empathize with you. I've got a few points today that I believe can help you and anyone else out there that wants more mojo. You know, uh, we talk about mojo, we talk about energy, getting your mind right, what's it gonna take? The first thing about getting your mojo back, and, and it seems small, but it is big, I want you to snap your band, literally snap your band and get your mind right and use that um, as part of the physical impetus to change, like boom, I gotta get my mojo back. And remind yourself of this, what's your self-talk? You have to continually remind yourself of who you are and that you can do this. I want you to clean up your self-talk and the story you're telling yourself because if you're beating yourself up and you're not feeling good and you keep telling yourself you're not feeling good, the self-talk must change. You have to use words that are going to fill your mind up with, I can do this, I got this, we got this, we can do it. Um, so that's point number two. Remind yourself of how special you are, how you can do this, how you can get your mojo back, and I am energy. I am energy. If you were to ask yourself, I am, I am what? I am energy. I am, I am fulfilled. I am love. Find words that are actually going to heighten your vibration and energy. The self-talk is absolutely essential uh, for you right now. Number three, I would say is this, is motion is lotion. Motion is lotion. That's right. We're talking about move your body. I want you to move your body. You know, it takes me back when I had uh, knee surgery last year. I had a partial knee replacement. And um, for the years leading up to that, I never allowed my knee to be an excuse of why I would miss a workout because you could always work around an injury. So for me, I was like, okay, I'm going to really focus on getting my upper body strong and my core strong. I was going to emphasize flexibility and mobility. And I couldn't squat or lunge like I used to, but I was okay with that because I was using movement as medicinal, Medic medicinal in the sense of getting my mind right because you, as you know, when you move your body, you get a dose. And I'm not talking about a dose of Durkin, you get a dose. And dose stands for dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. So those four hormones, those chemicals are released, and that helps get the mind right. So when I say get your mind right, it's not just a, hey, get your mind right under self-talk. There's a physiological response that happens when you move your body. So no excuses accepted. If you are out there and you, you have injuries, you're in pain, you've got an a autoimmune condition, I want you to move the body and what that means going out for a walk for 20 minutes whether that means taking a yoga class applied class or doing some strength training remember motion is lotion number four is get out in nature there's something so tremendously healing about nature and when you get outside and whether it be a walk on the beach and you go barefoot and you feel the sand between your toes or you get out in the mountains and you feel the rarefied air up at 5,000 or 8,000 or 10,000 feet. Nature is very healing, but it takes a conscious decision to go out there and actually move your body and do what you can do. And sometimes it's just breath work and, and focusing on your breath uh, on that. But use nature as part of your healing process because you'll get your mojo back by getting out in nature as well. And uh, next I would say, Laura, is journaling. Now, let me talk about journaling, guys, because I get so many times like, well, how do you journal? You always talk about journaling, Todd. What do you do? Well, it's actually quite a simple process because there's not a, a wrong way to journal. If nothing else, and you all are looking to get more mojo in your life, simply writing down gratitude. What are you most grateful for? Now, maybe you've been hit with a condition. Maybe there's a situation or circumstance in your life that you had no control over, and you find yourself in constant uh, worry or fear. When you actually put pen to paper, you write down what's in your life, who's in your life, and what you're most grateful for. The power of journaling goes a long way in allowing you to feel some balance and solitude in your life versus constantly feeling frenzied, stressed, or even anxious on that. So to get your mojo back, I believe that by writing down gratitude in your life and um, talking about how you would like to feel. Um, one of the things I always talk about when I do um, facilitation of coaching exercise, whether it be at my mentorship or on my mastermind meetings, is um, I am so happy and grateful now that, and you write down your life as you want it in a month 
or 90 days or a year or three years or 10 years down the line. I'm so happy and grateful now that, and you write for five or 10 minutes. I promise you, if you commit to writing for five minutes a day, and I know when I'm speaking, it sounds so simple, but it's not easy. Simple and easy is not the same. If you can spend five minutes a day writing down in a journal, in a book, the things that you're most grateful for and the energy that you want to radiate out into the universe, I promise you, your mojo will change and this is a really good thing. And let me add one more here when it comes to getting your mojo back and you're struggling with injuries um, is I want you to seek out more cheerleaders in your life. Who are the people who lift you up? See, I find there's so many times there's naysayers in your life. These are energy vampires that bring you down and you're stuck in this quagmire of negativity, um, depression, you're down. And it, 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 it's actually drowning you out. It's drowning your spirit and your soul out. What I want you to do is to find people around you who lift you up or you're listening to podcasts like this right now in this Q&A and you're listening to a voice. You're like, okay, I can do this. I got this and you're hearing the self-talk is becoming more positive. You're saying, get your mind right, get your mind right. I'm going to get out and move. I'm going to get outside in nature. I'm going to journal. These are all best practices. And who you surround yourself with is all part of the process of changing that mojo or elevating your energy in your life so you can get your life back. So those are six different ways to get your mojo back. And Laura, I hope that if you... Uh, take action. The biggest and most important thing is you take action on these things. I promise you, your energy will get back to where it was before and even greater. Guys, thanks so much for joining me today on this Impact Q&A. Keep the questions coming. If you check out uh, todddurkin.com slash podcast, um, there is a button right there to keep asking these questions. I'm loving these uh, these questions coming through. We got some great questions. Uh, Laura, thank you so much for today's question. I can't wait to see you guys again real soon. Peace and God bless. Coaches, trainers, fire-breathing dragons. Do you sometimes feel like you're on an island? Do you need to accelerate and catapult your results in your business or life? Are you stuck, challenged, or frustrated with your currently at? Do you want to amplify your dreams and achieve even more? If so, I want to invite you to my three-and-a-half-day live mentorship program. It only happens one time a year, and it's coming up this November 7th through the 10th right here in beautiful, sunny, warm San Diego, California. You can bring a teammate, you can bring your whole team, or you can just bring yourself. If you're ready for my deepest and most intensive program that I offer, now is the time to apply for this life-changing event. You can go to www.todddurkin.com slash live dash mentorship 19 for all the details and to apply. Don't miss out. There are early bird specials right now, and there's some tremendous bonuses. Take advantage of them. Remember, todddurkin.com slash live dash mentorship 19. I'll see you in San Diego in November. Be there.